The momentum for supporting proof of, proof of vaccination continues among business owners and organizations with calls for safety in order to prevent more lockdowns. That said, some of those who have taken a stance have been facing backlash, which could once again have a negative impact on the business bottom line. So far, it's been a fight for the owner of a Risu Korean barbecue, but James Lee is willing to stand up for the safety of his staff and customers. I have to do my side of help for against the coronavirus. I decide uh, to help maintain clean environment. Otherwise, it will spread. We're going to face another lockdown or something like that. Then it is not going to help anybody. Since posting notices that proof of vaccination would be required for indoor dining, the restaurant has seen some backlash, negative responses, and one-star reviews online. Other restaurants have seen that much worse. Bar Vendetta, for example, isn't offering indoor dining or even asking for vaccination passports at this point. But because the owner has shown support, Protesters have shown up with signs and shouting vulgarities at customers. While bar and restaurant owners face the fire, business leaders and organizations are stepping up and saying now is the time to get policy in place, despite the fact that the Ontario government has yet to commit to anything. We don't want a, a lockdown ever again. So give us all the tools short of lockdown to prevent that. And that's what um, vaccine passports are all about. While some are resisting using the term vaccine passport or certificate, the idea is the same. Do more to prevent the fourth wave of COVID from taking over and shutting everything down again. Tools like a COVID safe pass are really, as I said, that additional layer of protection to make it possible to give us the best chance of staying open and having better information about where outbreaks are happening. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business just released its stay open plan based on a survey of members. Four out of five business owners are concerned about another lockdown, but the recommendation to government stop short of a full proof of vaccination policy. Why is it limited to just travel and large events when we're seeing and hearing more and more organizations saying it needs to expand beyond that? There are a lot of human rights and privacy issues around those that have not yet been tested in the courts. And businesses are vulnerable because right now, they don't even know 100% for sure with certainty that they could even ask for these credentials. Regardless, some businesses have taken it into their own hands, making it clear that safety in their environment at least comes first and more should be done from the top down. To make our life a little bit easier and to make it clear, we need some kind of formal policy by government. The pressure mounts as other jurisdictions have already decided, despite some negative response, that similar policies would be implemented. Quebec announced this week that starting in September, those who do not provide proof of vaccination will not be allowed inside places like bars, restaurants and gyms.